If you're working nine to five, watch this video. The primary difference between poor people and rich people is the amount of quality connections that they have. That is, if you get into trouble today, how many key people knows you? Not the ones you know. You can know as many people as possible, but how many of them know you enough to come to your rescue? How many of them have the financial power to drag you out? If you start your own business today, how many people, key people know you enough to be able to, uh, if, if they patronize you in your business, your business will go up. One of the problems with most people that go nine to five is that they tend to stay on their level. Networking is a key aspect, key factor of getting rich. When you see somebody born rich, it simply means that they were born into a family where they have ready-made connections of rich people. When you see somebody born poor, they were born into a family that no matter how many people they know, all those people they know are poor. There are many poor families that the only one person they know that is rich is actually financially struggling. He doesn't want to see them. So let me tell you, right? Here's what you're going to do if you're working nine to five, you're working in an organization. You need to make that organization your internship position, your connection portal, your portal to greatness. All right? So don't just stick in your tiny little office in your department. When you come to work, you climb the stairs, you go straight to your office. You just tell everybody how you go. No. Try and make connections. Make it a point of duty. This thing I'm telling you now, to get the phone numbers of everybody working in that company. Everybody. Down to the cleaner. Down to the guy that cleans the toilet. The restroom. That guy, everybody uses the restroom. That guy knows everybody. So here's how to do it. Sometimes on your way to work, you run into some people, maybe in the office bus or uh, on the way to work, you run into one of the colleagues. Hey, chat up the person. Hey, what are you doing? What's your department? Okay. You try and find out how does the department connect to yours? What do they produce? What's their day-to-day -day work like? So as you're finding out this, what's happening is that you are learning how to run a big organization indirectly. Because definitely one day you're going to have to run it. If you retire tomorrow at age 65, 70, what do you think you're going to do in the last 20 years of your life? You'll be forced to that business you're running from. You'll be forced to do it by force. So first of all, it's your internship, right? So you ask them what they do, how do they do it, who connects to who. You will notice that many people are happy to explain how their system works. All right? You want to figure out how it relates to yours, how the management, who is their manager. So this is, this is internship you're learning, all right? In some organizations, you can even start doing internship with the person. You tell the person, oh, I really want to learn these things you guys do. Maybe let's say it's a factory that produces clothing. And this, this, this department produces only the collar. The other one produces only the hand. And they put you where the, they produce only the helms of the clothing. If you run into somebody that produces the collar, you can start internship with that person. You say, hey, I've always wanted to learn how to produce this collar thing. Can you teach me? I don't mind paying you. That's how you make friends. Before you know it, you've collected the person's number. You've put it on your WhatsApp. Let them be seeing your status. And stop posting rubbish on your status. Or you add them to your Facebook or whatever social media you use, you add them, all right? So that when you make a post, they see it. That's how you make friends. Before you know it, they're chatting you about that thing you posted yesterday, blah, blah, blah. You are building what I call connection. As many people, everybody in the company, when you see your bosses, you respect them. Sometimes you run into them in the elevators. You try and pack up discussions. Do you understand? At the end, you want to collect their card or anything at all. People that are totally way out of your league. Those ones are the key connections. At the end, if you're working in a company that has 100 staff, if you're leaving that company after six months, one year, you need to have 100 contacts. This is how to build greatness. Now, let's say you start your own business. Let's say you have left the tailor company and you start a food business. Guess who will be the first people that will patronize you in that business? I'm telling you. It's those 100 people. They will say, yes, I know him. I know him. Yeah. I once met him, yes, I see his status. So now you can post on your status that, hey, we now supply food to different companies. You will get 100 contacts that are ready to patronize you. If you run into a problem, 100 people that are ready to help you. I'm telling you. So stop being isolated in your company. It doesn't help anybody. That's your poor mentality from childhood following you, thinking that... You I don't want to talk to anybody in this company. People in this company, they, they, yeah, they ache me. Yeah. Or you'll be doing big girl for them because your boyfriend is, uh, you just come. They, they, they. Some people uh, crawl out of dungeons, but they will dress well and come to office and be waiting for people to come and talk to you. I'm telling you, it's not taking you anywhere. You have to open up, soften up. You know, 
when you see people carrying something, hey, what are you carrying? Hey, what's up? Well, I saw you yesterday. What's your name again? Oh, okay, I'm Dave. Which department are you into? Oh, I'm into this department. I'm, uh, can I have your number? We'll talk later. You see, after me, you call the person. When do you normally go for lunch? Let's go to lunch together. You go, you make contacts. This is how you have to build it. Connections are built. Any person that got rich from zero, from, uh, from poverty, self-made, there is a period they are building connections. And it never stops. It never stops. You see musicians do that. They always visit other musicians. They will shake everybody in the club. Shake, 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 shake. Before you know it, they are doing collaborations. You have to know everybody. Who is connected to who? Who is connected to who? This person connected to that. You never know when you are going to need it. But one thing I can tell you for sure is that you will 100% definitely need it. That's the bedrock of all success in life. Connections. And you working in a company is a blessing. No matter what your salary is, it's a blessing that you are in company with different hierarchies of people based on qualifications and intelligence. Open up and relate with everybody. Get their contacts. Add them to your social media platform. If it's WhatsApp, you want to add them to you, add them because they can't see your previous stupid updates. <laughs> now you post some things that make sense. All right. If it's your Facebook, you add them. If you have a special phone number, you want to add them. LinkedIn, put them, be adding them. Building contact takes time, gradually, one after the other. Just make it a point of duty from this video that everybody in that company, you must have their phone number. I'm the one that sent you. Say it like that. So um, please click this share button. Many people need to see it, okay? And follow me. If you're not following me, follow me so that when I release my next video, you will be the first to get it.